these are contraindications for exercises for um, pregnant um, individuals. So if we've got a pregnant individual, these are the things we need to know about. Okay, so we've already covered this before, but there's a hormone called relaxin, and it has an impact on joint stability, so your joints are not as stable, um, and it's especially focused in around that pelvis area. Um, so, for instance, squatting might not be appropriate. Um, also, what we know is when, when a female is pregnant, uh, there's a change in the body shape. Uh, the ligaments become lax, which means more relaxed. Uh, and there's a postural change because of obviously uh, the change in the body shape. There might be more weight at the front and therefore their posture might not be correct and might result in, in incorrect technique. So it's important to be aware of that. Uh, a supine lying position, uh, which means sort of lying um, face upwards, should be avoided after the first trimester due to restriction of blood return to the heart and pressure on the internal organs. Okay, so um, it's saying not to lie face up. And relaxing may rela remain in the system for up to five months after childbirth. So if you think about joint stability, if you've got uh, a, pregnant in a pregnant individual who's just given birth and then is coming to you for a session, it's important that actually you're aware that relaxing may be in that system and they might not have that stability in their joints, so it's about building it up slowly. 